So in Luke chapter 9, we read about how Jesus' disciples were arguing about which one of them is the greatest and which one would be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. But Jesus, knowing what they were arguing about, finds a little child, has, has this little child stand among them and says, whoever is least among you, that is the one who is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And we think about little children like, they don't get jobs. <laughs> they don't contribute a whole lot to, to society just yet. And Jesus used a little child as an example of who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, I got Raylan back there. Uh, Raylan is my disabled daughter. And a lot of people would say that she's useless. Like she can't do anything. She's never going to get a job. She can't talk. She can't even walk or crawl around or anything. We need to do everything for her. And I think Jesus would look at her and say that she is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Now, don't get a big head back there, Raylan. <laughs> the point isn't what we can do for God. The point is completely in resting what God has done for us. Raylan has to completely rely on us for everything. And God wants us to see ourselves as his children who completely rely on him for everything. The Christian life doesn't depend on us. It depends completely on what Jesus has done for us. Jesus died for our sins. He makes us righteous. He gives us joy and peace. That's the Christian life. So don't trust in yourself, in your own accomplishments. Trust completely in Jesus and become like a little child. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.